What up, what up, you already know it's your boy AB Doing another video for y'all This is something special I'm here with my man Booker A.K.A. Saint A.K.A. The God You already know So today what we're going to be talking about Is, in his words, a conspiracy You know what I mean? I'm just really just trying to have a conversation Like I normally do with my boy Booker here And you know, we always talking about the raw and uncut and unfiltered stuff that's going on in the world. And, oh. and you know, we just want to put it out there and see see what y'all think. See, see what y'all hitting for. So today, I wanted to talk to you about Book On was um, the whole, like, government changing. And um, so you said conspiracy. I think it's oh. just... I, I wouldn't put it all the way out there as a conspiracy yet. Don't want to give it that much energy. I feel like it's it, it's I feel the without future. any tangible proof, you have to put it to pure speculation. You okay. Know? Let's tell them let's tell them what we're talking about, right? So okay. so pretty much my theory behind everything, I've been watching this YouTuber called Hassan Campbell, and he's a conspiracy theorist slash realist. And, you know, he's always talking about his thoughts behind of what's going on in the world. And shit, to be honest with you, everything's been adding up. What he's saying is kind of making sense. So the first thing that he was talking about was, is um, he was saying how the facial technology was a thing, right? Facial, facial recognition with the 5G. Yes. facial. The real thing. So facial recognition with a 5G, right? So yeah. The, so the thing with the facial before you two stops away yeah so that's it that's the thing so now let's just say 40 years ago or 50 years ago facial recognition wasn't even known right nobody knew what facial recognition was nobody fucking like in the in the public knew what it was about okay they had it in their face they just didn't really know what it was exactly you saw shit like you saw shit like that in tv shows first yeah. Foreign identities, 24 hours, stuff like that. Yeah. You got showed it, you got a taste of it. You never really saw it in action. So like, you've seen it probably the most active and like really recent was probably the Boston bombing. Really? Before the Boston the bombing is where they showed the facial recognition? They was using it, they were using facial recognition, I believe. To find them boys in Boston, I believe that was some of the stuff they use. I can't be for certain. Damn. So, pretty much facial recognition is a thing to where now it's like, um, it's common. We know about it to the public. Um, we use it on our cell phones every day to unlock yeah. our phones. We use, yeah. we use it Just to... Just check it on that. Yeah, we use it on apps, on everyday apps, and we're using it all the way around now. So now, now that we got that out the way, right, let's mm -hmm. talk about the face mask. Now, the face mask, yeah, it's a coronavirus thing. Yeah, it's shit going on out here. But there's more to it than just coronavirus. Because what sense does it make to walk into a restaurant and then walk four steps to your seat and then take off your mask? What sense does it make to have a strip club open where all these girls are completely nude, but they're wearing a face mask? What sense does that make? What are we actually protecting here? What are we actually, what, are, what, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? When one hole is open, the other one is closed. You know well, what I'm the saying? argument is, the argument is, I know you can, you can co contract coronavirus sexually. I know that. Really? But, I believe I saw that somewhere. Well, yeah, I, I would think that that's the truth too, off of the strength that you're sticking your penis and you can catch AIDS from somebody like that. You can catch a lot of diseases like that. We're exchanging fluids, you know. You're not just pussy will kill you. In the course, but you know, you kiss somebody in the mouth. That's as close as you're gonna get. So it's not too inconsiderable. Yeah, I remember how they word shit. So let's get back into it. Basically, 
I feel like the face mask now is to do the eye recognition because the eyeball is the only thing on the body that doesn't really change from birth. Your eyes stay the same. Like maybe the colors change, but the structure in the eye never can't, really changes. Can't grow a beard on your eyeball. Exactly. The cuticles in your eyes are unique to you, to each person. So they can master that through technology of like everyday uh, cameras that's out there and stuff well, like iris that. recognition was the beginning of facial recognition. That's how they map your face. It's through your eyes. Okay. If you look at any face tech on your, like your common face tech, like on your app, on your phone, Instagram. Yeah. Remember you used to hold it and you'd see it start in the center of your face and bloom out and do a codex over your face to map out your general facial structure. Yeah. Basic facial recognition, right? The eyes are the depth disclosure of uh, what's going on with the face, right? So like the brow, I feel, eyes, the eyes. I feel like you can't change your eyes. Like there's nothing yeah. you can And it's do. the most protected out of your whole face. Exactly. You got a brow, you got the nose, eyelashes, eyebrows, everything is there to work to protect your eyes, right? Exactly. So that being so said... What are we doing? So that being said, now let's continue. Now that we figured out that they've done facial recognition on us and now they're doing this, they're mastering the eye technology behind it to do eye technology where they can actually scan your eyeball and find out who you are and where you are. This all comes down to tracking people. Now they don't want you to use cash. They're starting to make it harder for you to use cash. That's been coming around for years, though. Like, that, like that, people knew that. You no, know, that has. But, like, you know, they've always... You know what? I, it Cash thing is kind of, like, on the fence because they've been saying that they were going to get rid of change years ago. But still today, I collect change. You know what I mean? So, it, they... But there's a change shortage, too. You can't get a roll of quarters at the... Yeah. At the fucking bank but once and now they're changing all the vending machines to credit card you oh you can swipe your card at the vending machine now you can swipe your card at the laundry mat now yeah. you don't need to get changed you can swipe your card at the uh at the car wash now you know what i mean like before they have all these change machines on the wall where you have to go cash in five dollars ten dollars or whatever it is and get changed and do your laundry and, and clean your car and all that so look the change is happening right so we're seeing the change happen everything is starting to go into cryptocurrency everything is starting to go into different um types of things like we saw the rental car business turn into apps into Turo. we saw the hotel business turn into airbnbs and and we saw like you know the travel business changing and changing and everybody just changing all these changes happening so now like i always felt like history repeats itself but we're trying to be the government what we're repeating now the government is trying to take more control what we're repeating now is what that's always true that's true the, what we're what we're trying to do right now is what is called is, is like a civil war is going to happen we're going against the grain right now so like we as a people are living and been a certain way and we're doing this a certain way right now but like the government wants more control. They want more control. They have no control over their people. China, fucking, they, they when China's shit went down, they, these, they was all like, like soldiers out there. Like the citizens are like soldiers. You know what I mean? Like they just basically fall in line and, and do what they got to do to survive. And they don't care if they got to not have more babies or you know, cut down that, their food that's the perspective we're given on that country mm -hmm. but have you been to china never, i haven't never never and uh but my few friends that have they they're not all like dennis rodman <laughs> but, they're like, but they all have that same perspective and one of them works for the government or worked for the government as a liaison for a long time but she, as well as a few others, they all get, they, they all say it's not what you think. They're not all big fans of Kim Jong Un and all that shit. Like I was saying, Dennis Rodman, but yeah. they are very much different in opinion of most of us commoners that have never been. 
and I will say this, that, that the China, China got their people in line. And we don't like that either. And I don't. I don't. I don't think we should be subservient to. Uh, I think a government should serve us. I mean, a lot of people go on record and on tape with saying that shit, whether they campaigning or not, or trying to sell some records like myself. Yeah. And that's easy to do. That's easy to say. You know what I'm saying? But it's harder to apply as the person you you wish the government served. And how we do that better is by like uh, local legislation, right? Mm -hmm. First and foremost. Granted, it does all acclimate up to like our commander in chief and all that shit, the senators and governors. But how you start is in local legislation. You start, find one bill that you really don't uh, agree with and vote on it. And then work your way up. Yeah. I mean, but they also use that same shit in these phones so that they know what you like, what you want. And that's what, that was my argument initially before we started recording is that it's not so much that they're reading your mind. They're re they're watching your behavior. Okay, so let's 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 talk about it cuz the the people watching don't know what we were talking about before. So basically what we're getting into behind the facial recognition, the eye recognition and behind the whole government wanting control is that um the next step is like they have this 5G coming out, right? So they have these 5G phones. So before we would always complain like, oh, you can't talk in front of Alexa, you can't talk in front of Siri, you can't talk in front of these uh, cell phones or around these phones because they're, they're all listening, right? But now we got this new 5G technology and this is all brand new technology. We got brand new technology hitting our phones and they can actually hear our thoughts and know what we're thinking bro they know what we're thinking this is my theory that they know what we're thinking i was thinking about buying a pair of sneakers the other day and i swear i didn't tell nobody about it i didn't show nobody nothing i didn't even do nothing and all of a sudden i look on my feet and there they go how did they know how did they know that i was thinking that how did they know I was thinking about buying those sneakers, those specific pair of sneakers? And that, and I'm just using that as an example. I know. You know I got, I mean? I got a, a eerie similar example just happened not too long ago, right? Mm -hmm. I'm in a I'm in a sneaker group, right? Of people we discuss them. old heat, new heat, all that shit. I've spoken on them before to you. So nonetheless, I was in there and we were asking. Now we talk a lot about shoes, right? Yep. A lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, they said which which uh, what what was the shoe that you wish you hadn't gave away? I said Jamaica Air Force Ones, Jamaican Drum Air Force Ones, right? Mm -hmm. And I had to go make sure, so I searched it on my phone, right? But I didn't really remember that I searched it. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, I searched it on my phone to try to share the picture with them, but I couldn't. But I had already told them, right? So next day I'm on Instagram and they're selling them for a reasonable price too not like mm. not like something big and where I found the confusion is like how would they know to show me these on Instagram yeah I get how Google does it because I use Google to search for the shoe yeah but how did they go to your Instagram how did they bring because, it up all right so listen channel? they share that information they sell it to one another Yes. They've been doing that. We know scam companies do it when you buy stuff independently, right? Yeah. You buy something and they ain't got a real good firewall, your email and all that shit gets compromised, right? And then they advertise it to yourself. Your email or your cell phone number gets compromised. And now they're sending you emails and shit, I mean, text messages about penis enlargement and Kingle tapes and shit. And you're like, I didn't ask for any of this shit. Yeah. Why? Because they sold you. They sold your number. They mm. sold your info, that, that, that feed, right? Yeah. So mm. now Google is the king of information, right? Yeah. Google. Yeah. That's the number one search engine, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So who better to find out what you like from than the number one motherfucker you go to look for what you like? Right? And then Instagram turns around and sells that to those independent merchandisers that ask for promotion. 
So look at it this way. You, you, you got you got your page on Instagram, right? I got a page on Instagram. I got a music page on Instagram, right? Shout Every, your page out. Shout your page out. Shout, oh, yeah. Shout, shout, I'm about to say, shout out to Saints. Saints underscore mm-hmm. Sins. That's S-A-I-N-T-S underscore S-I-N-S. Saints underscore Sins. Go check out that album. We just dropped out in February, A Great Escape. We got another one, Dope World, coming up right at the end of this summer. Be on the lookout for that. Trash Tape 1, 2, and 3 by my engineer, Chris Carrington. Carrington Sound is out, as well as we got some other stuff by number 42, my other producer. But anyway, not to get all caught up in all that, because y'all should go hit that up, hit them links. Uh, Instagram offers me promotion every day, right? Mm. As much as I want to spend, I can spend $14, I can spend $1,400, mm. right? And they're going to promote the shit out of my, my thing, right? They're going to mm. send it to people, they're going to... You know, what you want to promote, what posts you want to promote, shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. So, Instagram turns around and set, sells that information to them motherfuckers that they bought it from. See, because they don't really want this information. They know it benefits them to have it for people like you. You're the buyer and the seller. I'm the buyer and the seller, right? Mm-hmm. What I like is important to the sellers, because I'm the buyer. What I sell is important to the buyers, because now I'm the seller. You see what I'm saying? Happens all the time. We're all doing it. I'm doing it right now with music and people are doing it to me with shoots, right? So, the phone looks so much mysteriously intuitive because everything we use it for is now being used against us. As long as we continue to shop through our phone, through the internet, they got a, they got a track record on us. They got a paper trail. That's why it's more important in front on front business. You feel me? People that can go people that can come to you and get it you feel me and take it back with them and i ain't even talking in a sense of like like the marijuana industry i'm talking about like even in clothes merch all that shit because if you buying from your phone you selling from your phone hell your phone is the dope dealer well that's the thing now we're we'll get into that people say they don't want to be tracked people say they don't want to microchip but if they have a phone they're already being tracked they're already already chipped. Like chip. yeah you're chipped. exactly you're done so we already agree with all that now let's just talk about the fact that there is technology out there that they can use that it's tele is telepathic technology they can yeah, yeah. It can they have shit, not telepathic they have shit that reads your brain waves and it has to be in very close proximity. So I get where the phone kind of relates to that. Exactly. So here's the thing. Here's the difference. Here's so the difference. You I'm, look at all that amputee technology, all this new wave robotics. Yes. And all that stuff. Yes. Power is a big thing with them. Power source. Because it takes a lot of power to not... to, to, to It takes a lot of power to nullify. To, to first, it takes a lot of power to run that shit. Do all the different things that are... are, are our nerves do right yeah all right from here to here there's like enough electronic signals to power 10 cell phones right so to do that they have to conserve and convert power they have to protect you from it it has to be insulated right but then that power also has to be able to read and absorb power from your brain Right, those little those things, those little touchy feely things that they they zap to behind their ears and in their scalp and even in their brain. Some of them got implants in their brain. Yeah, I understand that, but what I'm trying to say is is that I feel like they already been had this technology. This technology has already been advanced. We're discovering it as a civilian. They now. definitely are way um, more advanced than we know. Yeah, That's- we're discovering it now as civilians through our own experiments and our own. Um, curiosity but uh, I feel like the government themselves have already developed this technology this is old technology to them this is not nothing new to them so that being said uh, that's, that's what, what you within your you within your own cognizance to believe that because I do too so I think that literally they have a technology now that they can actually read what we're thinking in our minds and they know like okay if we do decide to run or hide or go somewhere they're gonna know exactly the probabilities are calculated of where we're gonna be going to and just like they have like your top five callers in your cell phone 
You know what I mean? You look in your cell phone, it's like, oh, that's who, all they're looking at. Who's the top people that this Man, guy? Contacts? If you want to know why, you know why I mean? uh, like, predictive shit, my bad for interrupting. No, go ahead, yeah. You want to know why this shit looks like that? They've been showing us for years, bro. Like any fugitive show, any government, uh, what is that shit? Like uh, any most wanted show, anything like that. Like they've been hunting men since men could hunt things, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, look at what happened to that cop that got caught in Big Bear. Remember? And he waged war. Dave Chappelle talked about him in his last comedy special. He waged war on the LA police, right? Because he said they did them all, right? Mm -hmm. That man was gone for a while, like hidden, elusively bobbing in and out. There's ways around it. So, but how there are ways around it are only for those people that know how they use those ways already, right? For a common person like you or I, it will be much harder. Look how, look how he, you know, evaded for so long, but it was still so long. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, they they definitely have more than they showing us. They have ways to 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 to, to, to read old calls. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like she, you said last year. What, you I, know? what I say last year. I don't know. I'm just saying they might know. Oh, you're saying that they know shit that you. I'm pretty sure there's shit like that. Yeah. You know, but unless they got Charles Xavier sitting <laughs> next to that phone, they don't know what you want because you don't know what you want. That's the thing about the human. The human's so fickle. We only want it because we think we need it. Yeah, but I feel like it's forced upon us. So if you force That's something, the other part. If you... we we such we such sheep a lot of times that you show us enough shit early on in the early on in the trip by the time we at the end of the trip we don't want it anyway but that's what i'm saying though if you put me in a predicament or it's like a rat you know what i mean you put the rat through the maze there's but so many options he's gonna choose at the end if there's three you know what i mean if we only give him yeah. three options he's only him, he only got three him, options you straight away you tell him be quiet or you tell him go out and be worse than he was he's gonna pick the one that most suits him right rat speaking Feel me? No fun intended, but <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I feel like that's the si type of situation we're in. Now, don't get me wrong. I I love America. I love living in America. I love America. I I was born in New York. You know what I mean? Like, I'm. I, I like being out here. I'm very grateful for being out here and stuff. But at the same time, like, I just don't understand the control behind the people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand the things that are going on in this world between the bombings and the and the, the reason the why it's so hard changing. to understand is because we're the control. Well, like because China is fucking doing some shit where they 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 develop some type of technology where they've um. Put you know like, they're already using five G. Yeah, they've been using five G, but they've also yes. developed this d d made some tech type type of technology. Where they spray something in the air and it blocks the sun, like they're trying to block the sun and they created a whole new sun, like a like a a different type of sun, like for energy. And it's crazy, bro. There are some shit out there. There's some shit. Yeah, I had to look into that. That sounds spooky. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on out there in China. Let me tell you, and people don't know. Like people are not aware. I'm watching them because I know they're ahead of us. I'm like, shit. I'm trying to catch up. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the scary part. You know what's real crazy is that right now we 80 percent consumers, 80 or higher. Really, more like in the 90. Uh huh. In China, we are everything. We don't buy nothing here. Nothing's made here. Nothing. Everything you buy, data raid, motherfucking paper towel, toilet paper. Yeah. There are no paper mills in California. I mean, in, in the United States, all the way. Shit, they used to be them all up in California. But that shit's pollution. Yeah. Right? So, when you think about the fact that some of these other countries are silenced and way more in line, you gotta look why. Because they're exploited even ultimately by the co the consumer that is us. For instance, Nike, Nike, Louis Vuitton, fucking uh, all that shit. Them motherfuckers have all this shit made, manufactured, 
in those same countries. Mm. But then they assemble them and reconstruct them in their mother country, like for instance, Louis Vuitton Italian, or you know, uh, Louis, yeah, Louis Vuitton Italian, Gucci, you feel me, Fendi. Yeah, I, I just don't know where we're headed. Where we, where do you think our future is headed? Let's start to wrap this up. Where do you think our future is headed? I think we are headed to a more controlled zone. And it's it's being forced upon us, and I feel the, the tension. Do you feel like it's to benefit us or just to... I feel like we don't have the luxury of truly knowing that. But what the argument is, is that we are damaging ourselves at this point, which is true in a multitude of ways. This pandemic shit is just the, the, the surface paint. You know, this is the, the colored frosting. Yeah. This ain't everything the cake made of, though, you know? Yeah. Like, like pollution in general is one way that we are fucking destroying ourselves, yeah. you know? And I believe that governments and political institutions have always relied on control and so a a more means of control is always their goal so yes and i think we resist in ways that are ultimately like vital but we have to also not be swayed by direction you know there's so many you feel me? That's the thing. People always get caught up on this Republican, Democrat shit. The only reason they give you two choices is because there's so many. Mm. You know? But they want you to only pick one or two, red or blue. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I think we are headed for a bit, a bit of a more ways of controlling us because from here, where we at for 100 years, we've been fucking up from 1920 to 2020. Yeah. We've been baby boom, nuclear boom, technology boom, all booming. But we have not advanced in the middle capacity area as far as we should, definitely. I hear that. Could even more. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot more control on the average person because knowledge is power. And people don't wanna be informed they want to be ignorant yep. that's comfortable information creates a responsibility responsibility is never comfortable you know what i'm saying yep. no you're right you're right people don't want to be responsible that's why you see so little homeowners i don't know like i just feel like uh we're in for something crazy in the long haul and I just wanted to share this conversation with my I think I think we are up for some because it's gonna get I think civilization is terraforming. The word terraform means change of planet, right? It's used in, in like geological change of element, habitat stuff. Terraforming always in, always starts in death and ends in life. Uh some other kind, right? And we are all experiencing a great death right now, a death of, uh, of the ideology and the personas that we've lived our entire lives. Why? Because that shit is killing everyone, you know? From cancers to pollution to pandemics. Yeah. And so what we are experiencing right now are the, the birth pains of a new new people and the new civilizations that we are going to be that, and most of us probably won't live to see not because of some great cataclysmic thing maybe but be, just because it's going to take that long we've spent a hundred years fucking it up might take 200 years to fix the planet yeah might get worse before it get better yeah that's for certain that's for certain I feel the same thing, the same way. The and just think about the new babies that are being born. Do you think that they're getting the vaccine? I know two little girls that were born this year. And did they get the in vaccine? The last four months. Oh hell no, hell and no. They didn't hell receive no. the vaccine. So you're telling me that when they were born, are you going to get the vaccine? No, I'm not. But I'm I'm thinking this: the new generation of babies that are being born, they're just hitting them with the vaccine just off GP. They've been doing that since the, since before I was making babies. 
I probably was the last generation of kids that just all took vaccines and didn't ask no questions. Mm. You feel me? The eighties babies. <laughs> it was the chemical babies. It was the crackheads. So you know, <laughs> they thought they thought them kids needed some kind of. You feel me? That's why them parents did it. Yeah. The parents we are, we know better. We lived through them fucking tumultuous times. The ones that did live, you know. So I don't, I don't, I don't see that even being a thing. I see that being a thing for for people that don't want to know. You feel me? People that want to know less will do will, will know less and let people do more for them. Mm-hmm. You know, if it costs them, if they, if you gonna pay my rent and make sure my kids go to school and feed them at least once a day. Sure, you can give them a shot. Some people don't care like that. Yeah. Some people don't see it like I see it. You know? But that even goes as far as, oh, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna provide me with transportation, a means of transportation, you know? And I, uh, I just, uh, I'll send my kids to public school. Mm. You know I mean? Or even not even your kids. You be like, I don't have a job. We'll give you a job and a car. You know what I'm saying? But you need to be here. You have to do these things. Are they legal? Why are you worried about that? (laughs) Think I want to put you in a legal position? That's how people talk when they got leverage. You know? Government got mad leverage on all these people. Yeah, they do. They got leverage. And uh, listen, I'm a proud American, man. I love living out here. They're leveraging the fuck out of all us out of work workers right now. Placate you with stimulus packs and unemployment. Because although we was out there gritting and grinding and making it happen and probably making money less consistently, we were making it and it equated our means of living. So that was, that was. Uh, task in itself, but now you're being broken of all that tax and being spoon fed a stifle, and that's gonna fuck us up. It's gonna fuck us up a year from now when, when we all trying to get back to work and remember how much it costs to get back and forth seven days a week and you ain't been at work in eight months, 10 months, 13, 14, 16 months. Now you right. So you're right, yeah, yeah. I think uh, we still we we just hitting the rough patch. So the people ain't even riding rough yet. A lot of people ain't. Mm-hmm. A lot of people ain't even riding rough yet. Yeah, not yet. We haven't hit it yet. You know what I feel like the next thing is gonna be starvation. They're gonna have a shortage of food. It's already doing that. Yeah, I know. We're already in a food shortage right now. I know, exactly. So it's just like the beginning stages of food shortage. We're in a food shortage right right now. Yeah, I'm telling you. And, you know, I'm the type of person, like, I'm already, like, prepared to go fishing every day or prepared to go uh, hunting every day. You know what I mean? But a lot of people are not ready for that. They're not even built for that. They, They never even been in that situation where they haven't had their food ready for them and in front of them like not uh, you know what I mean like your food was alive at one point you know what I mean like they have trouble cooking it let alone catching and killing you exactly so you know there's a lot of things that's going on then you know people are also moving out of their places because they can't afford their places and a lot of families are, are bundling up you know it's game, People really. are losing their places. Trump's being made to look like a financial vagrant. I mean, he's con- Trump's content with enabling people. You feel me? Trump's like, we'll, we'll feed and pay y'all till we ride this out, right? But he's also content with not doing what needs to be done. Like a lot of people, like the, the, the common areas are one thing, but strip clubs and restaurants are another. You feel me? Restaurants open for nine and then I feel everybody's trapped. My kid, I'm a father of three. You feel me? And in the music industry, and in the entertainment industry, right? And not doing nothing throughout all this is fucking starving. 
My kids are used to being able to do shit. My kids are used, my kids are on high school and used to doing activities every week. This shit been draining on them and me and their mother. You know what I'm saying? But if we can't bottle down to clear up a fucking virus, because they'll let us play the evils on both sides and fight about it and bicker and blast each other on the internet before we fix it. You feel me? They'll, they'll put the government in wild ass places doing wild ass shit. I mean, they up there where you at right now acting crazy. You feel me? They right here where I'm at doing what? They, I mean, like, four little boys at the bus stop just got rifles and shit pulled on them. And they was being attacked by a homeless person, a homeless adult. And they pulled guns and arrested the, the victims. Right in Santa Clarita. That shit was like yesterday, I think. So, I mean... Security guards is getting blasted for telling people to put on their mask. A whole bunch of efferies going on all around. Crazy. And all we can do is protect ourselves. All we can do. All we can do. All we can do. My battery died. Take it day by day. So, yeah... I'm going to end this right here. You already know. It's been a pleasure, man. It always is. My shit's starting to delay, so I know it's going to kick me in a second. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you. It's great talking to Ooh. you. I'll holler at you, fool.